Colorado's housing market is going through some changes and it's forcing buyers and sellers to get creative. In this latest trend in our state, the two sides are working together to combat rising interest rates. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn spoke with the experts for some perspective that may help you in the process. If you're in the market for a new home, I think it's healthy. There's hope for buyers as market experts say things are shifting in Metro Denver. It's not quite a buyer's market yet, but it's balancing out. The market has certainly been rough for buyers. Even a dog got to have a job, <laughs> you know? I would die to be a homeowner. Heather Blanchett is 26 and she's been waiting for news like this. I've always dreamed of owning a home. While she's happy things are leveling off, the problem for her and buyers like her now skyrocketing interest rates. Getting a loan, I feel like, is increasingly hard. The interest rates are crazy, and buying a home in general is just so intimidating. This one has more interest. But realtor Joy Dysart with HomeSmart and mortgage broker Kelly Fogel with HDS say buyers have some new options, including asking for seller concessions to buy down interest rates. I think we are now entering a market where sellers are working with buyers and that's great when people are negotiating again. Here's how it works. Let's say a buyer is paying 500,000 for a home. They come in with a full price offer, but then ask the seller for a $6,000 concession cash back at close at the closing table. That cash goes straight to the lender to buy down the interest rate from say 5.2% to 4.75% or so $6,000 concession to the borrower to buy down the rate might save them 250 bucks a month, which is very important to buyers. It's their monthly payment. Seller concessions were unheard of six months ago. Now they are very much a part of the home buying equation. Motivates the buyers. There's still people out there that need to sell their house. Sellers are now willing to work with buyers to, to make the deal close. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. The Denver Metro Association of Realtors released the September market trend report today, and it finds interest rates remain the biggest factor impacting sellers, and new listings dropped 15% year over year. Now, the report finds sellers are no longer incentivized to move because their current interest rate likely is significantly lower than what they could get if they bought another house. Let's give you some better context on the state of the real estate market. A new report from real estate finance tech firm Knock finds the market is shifting in the metro. The report finds that a year ago, the market stringingly favored sellers. Currently, we're seeing a neutral market, meaning buyers and sellers have equal standing. But the report finds that within the next year, buyers will have the edge. The report finds that Colorado Springs is the 13th hottest buyer's market. Homes sit on the market for an average of 12 days.